A Texas law will give residents a new way to arm themselves, but only for self-defense. In less than a week, brass knuckles will be legal to possess in Texas. Channel 5's Christian Colon here with a breakdown of this new law and the concerns that come with it. Christian. Oscar Dina, these weapons have always been around, but they were illegal to carry in Texas. That's all changing next week. Grab, slide, and you're armed. Come in here and they say, I need some brass knuckles, and we, we, we tell them we don't sell brass knuckles. We can't sell brass knuckles. I said, well, wouldn't you? I said, we sell bell, bell buckles or we sell paperweights? The law forbids anyone from possessing brass knuckles. Marco Silva says he's been legally selling these items for several years, from belt buckles, bottle openers, to even keychains. They come in all types, even customized with jewels. Silva says he was running out of them, but with this new law, he's now fully stocked. They come in because they've heard, they heard that the law that they're going to legalize the, the, the right now the paperweights. They're going to legalize the brass knuckles. If you are caught with these items, you can face a Class A misdemeanor, which is up to one year in county jail. You can also get a fine, but all of that goes away come September. And now, what's this new change? Basically, now you're allowed to possess them. Um, you can have them on your person. Um, you can have them on keychain on your belt. Um, basically, you're allowed to have them wherever you go. Criminal attorney Christopher Cavazzo says this new law was prompted by a case where a woman was charged for possessing knuckles like these even though she claims she used them in self-defense. Cavazzo says he's dealt with these cases in court where brass knuckles were used. His concern? If a situation comes where you think you might have to use these weapons, I'd first call the police. Um, and if there's no opportunity to do that, then you have to defend yourself, do what you have to do. But always remember is it's a slippery slope and maybe one extra, two extra punches could lead to some serious charges. Those charges, Cavazzo says, can be assault and even murder. We're going to try to do our best to, to uh, sell these to law-abiding citizens and not, not use them for people that are going to use them for you know, bad. As for Silva, he says he will start screening any customers more carefully. Gawasos urges people to be careful if you are thinking of possessing these weapons. He suggests fighting in court and not in the streets. In the studio, Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 6.